Hi, good day. My name is William T. Dongo, your professor for today. I will be giving a, a lecture about industrial ventilation, the recommended practices. The chapter we're going to be discussing today will be about chapter 1, the general principle of ventilation. Introduction. The importance of clean and uncontaminated, uncontaminated world environment is well known. Okay, modern industry with a complexity of uh, operation and process use on increasing number of chemicals, compound and substances, many of which are highly toxic. The use of such material may result in particulates, gases, vapors, and or mist in the workroom are in concentration which exceeds safe uh, level. Heat stress can also result in uh, unsafe or uncomfortable work environment. Okay, ventilation. Ventilation control odors, moisture, and other undesirable environment condition. Ventilation system used in industrial plants are two general types. We got the supply system and the exhaust system. Uh, supply system is used to supply air, usually uh, Temperature to a work in the to the work to a workspace. Exhaust system is used to remove the uh, contaminated uh, contaminants generated by an, an operation in order to maintain a helpful work environment. Exhaust system is used again to remove the contaminants generated by a an operation in order to maintain a helpful work environment. A complete ventilation uh, program must consider both the supply and the exhaust system. Therefore, if the overall quantity of air exhausted from a workspace is equals to the quantity of outside air supplied to the space, the plant interior will experience a low pressure than the local atmospheric pressure. This condition occurs simply because local exhaust systems are installed and consideration is not given to a corresponding replacement air system. Air will then enter the, uh, the plant in uh, uncontrolled manner through cracks, walls, windows, and doorways. Results of this air, excuse me, results of this improper design will employ this discomfort in the winters, months, for those working near the plant perimeter. And then two, exhaust system performance degradation possible leading to loss of uh, condition and control of contaminants and uh, potential health hazard and then a higher heating and cooling costs because of uh, improper operation of the ventilation system inside the building okay that make sure they put good consideration that the the industrial ventilation is designed properly Okay, now we're going to talk about TLB. TLB, that's a threshold limit value. It's chemicals with its own, it's uh, will be uh, producing a, a TLB. The TLB is defined as the airborne concentration of a substance which it is believed that nearly all working, all workers may be exposed to day after day without developing adverse health effort. Okay? 
the, the, the other one we talk about is the time weighted average. That's uh, TWA. TWA. Time weighted average is defined as the time weight average concentration for a normal eight hours work day in a 40 hours work week, which will produce no adverse health effects for nearly all work workers is uh, usually used to determine a safe exposure level. TLB values are uh, published by the American Conference of uh, Government Industrial Hygienists with revision made yearly as more evidence occurs on the toxicity of the substances okay and then we gotta have a type of ventilation we get supply ventilation and exhaust ventilation supply has two purposes create comfortable environment number two replace air exhaust from the plant and number three if, an un, if air is uh, recirculated Return air system is used. Okay. Exhaust system. We had two types. You got the uh, general exhaust system and the local ventilation system. Again, the exhaust ventilation system are classified as two uh, generic group: the general exhaust system and the, the local exhaust system. Generic exhaust system can be used for the heat control and or removal of contamination uh, generated into the space by plussing out the, a uh, given space with a large quantity of air. When used for contamination control or the dilution system and uh, enough outside air must be uh, mixed with the uh, contaminant uh, so that the average contaminant is uh, reduced to a safe level. The contamination, contaminated air is then typically discharged to the atmosphere. And then we got what we got here, a dilution, dilution system used for controlling or use for contamination control. That it. That's it. Dilution system is used for contamination contamination control. These are normal use for uh, contamination control only when uh, local exhaust is impractical or in practice, as the large quantity of it, of uh, Tampered air requires offset the uh, the exhaust air can lead to a higher operating cost. Okay. Local exhaust ventilation system operates on the principle of capturing uh, contamination at or near its surface. The present em emphasis on the air pollution control states the need of official air cleaning devices on industrial ventilation system. Exhaust system uh, has four elements. You got the hood, you got the duct system, and then the air cleaner, and then the fan. Some of the example of the sketches, some of, some of the example that uh, are used for the uh, exhaust ventilation are given to this basic diagram that I made. Okay, over here, this is a exhaust system in which the air coming from the side of the the place right here and this one, and then it bring up the air to the middle and up to the ceiling and then within that air with the volume of theirs that coming in all the environment the 
contaminants will be pulled by these three blowers on top. So as you see the arrow, the air goes up, then it's exhausted up on top. And then another one is uh, this one right here. In a small enclosed room, you got the, the ventilation system, okay? Over here is the uh, employee that works, and then you got a table, and then you got a plenum here, and then you got the, the supply blower here, the supply air inlet fan, and then you have a filter here, and then you got a plenum, and then the air goes south from this side right here, on the side of the plenum, and it travels from here, behind the workers and then it pull up the the dirty uh, pollutant that's in front of the worker and then it goes out and then outside to the atmosphere and then we have another one here you got the this time the air supply air is coming from the plenum on top of the, the and then it will come down and then it will be put pulled by this excess fan the air travels behind the employee, the workers, and goes to the table, pick up the, the contaminant, and then exhaust to the outside of the building. And then the same thing on this one. At this time, the, the supply fan is uh, ducted the way it's ducted right here. You got the, the blower here. You got the filter, and the air comes out. It goes behind the worker, and then it blows to the top, pick up the industrial waste air then exhaust to the exhaust fan then out to the atmosphere okay that's as far as I can go I am thanking everybody for watching my video this is just for educational purposes and uh, not intended for you to use uh, when you as a code okay I'm giving this lecture because I know it's kind of a little bit uh, uh, high level uh, uh, technical stuff. Well, uh, I am a mechanical engineer and I used to work on this big uh, maintenance aircraft facility in, in, in San Francisco, which is near at the airport. And then I am a HVAC uh, maintenance engineer a specialist. And then as a project engineer and project management, and this most of the time that I work in that company for eight years, I I have done uh, all this type of work, you know, investigating the system, uh, make sure uh, the people are safe, because this this is the place where they rebuild the engine of the aircraft from all the different type of Boeing aircraft, and then the landing gear. Okay. I thank you very much.